I have plantar fasciitis, pain at the sole of my foot. I need to rest it and I need to stretch it. So I hear this a lot. Um, I have discussed about plantar fascia quite a lot. I've even done an article all about plantar fasciitis. And we're gonna go into some research that I just saw the other day, but it was some that I'd already included in the article, the full article that is already on my blog about plantar fasciitis, or as it's now known, chronic plantar heel pain. Now it's natural for somebody to think, oh, it hurts when I walk on it, it hurts after I've walked on it, um, I, I'll rest it, and oh, I'll stretch it because it feels easier afterwards and so on. But Stretching is actually part of, potentially part of the solution. We know that that can be a factor in treatments. Um, but what's interesting here is we're gonna look at um, loading of that tissue and therefore the adaptability of it to load. And we're looking at a comparison study here, um, comparing effectively doing stretch-based treatment versus load-based treatment. So here was a randomized control trial of 48 people and they were looking at comparing the effectiveness for plantar fasciitis and they were comparing stretching compared to loading. So the stretching group was stretching basically every single day and then the loading group were doing an exercise which actually is a video that I've got uh, on my uh, YouTube channel and on my website which basically is calf raises uh, with a towel underneath to elevate the toes to put a stretch through the plantar fascia causing the wind glass mechanism and therefore you're getting a greater stretch load while you're doing your calf raise and you're loading this exercise up and in the load group they were doing this every other day which makes more sense than every day because certainly we know that strength based work doesn't need to be done every day especially when it's heavy based work so at three months after the interventions this is when they found uh, the difference between the groups they found that the um, the load, the heavy load group improved and they improved more than the stretching group. So this concludes, as we already knew, or at least I already knew, um, loading the plantar fascia builds up structurally the tissue there so it's more resilient in terms of real terms and it also builds up the tolerance of that tissue to load. So if that area is hypersensitized to load uh, or it's weak to load, how are you going to get it to desensitize? How are you going to get it to become stronger? Well, rest isn't going to do that. Stretching's not really going to do that. Loading it, however, especially under stretch, is going to do that over time. The key here is to find that rehab sweet spot. So you need to load it appropriately at the level you're currently at. So if someone's in agony with minimal load capacity, you don't just massively load them up. You start, you start with a lower load, and then if they're okay, you build that load up. If they're okay, you build that load up and up and up and up and up. And obviously it takes time, of course, because the tissue has to adapt to that load. But it shows you if you do this progressively and correctly, and you build that load up over time, then the tissue adapts to the load, the nervous system adapts to the load. So functionally, you're more load tolerant. Your plantar fascia is not going to hurt so much when you do activities in your daily life. And this is why this is a cornerstone of the stuff I do with patients. I get them loading that plantar fascia and it works very, very well. It doesn't work overnight because the body doesn't adapt that fast, of course, but we know this problem can just go on and on and on and on and on. And it's because of this sort of vicious cycle of it hurts, I'll rest it. I'll hurt, it hurts, I'll rest it. I'll stretch it, but I, I won't do anything more. And that doesn't really get you anywhere long term. So you're always sort of round in circles. But if you start loading it bit by bit by bit by bit, then that tissue and nervous system adapt and you're good to go over time. In most cases, this will work very well. So like I say, you can check out that video, of course, on uh, on my website or on uh, the other video on YouTube. It's on there. And there are other ones as well, plantar fascia loaded based exercises. And it shows you this is definitely the way to go. But listen to your body on it. Don't just overload it. So your symptoms shouldn't be worse for doing it. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.